let's create a car class. And um, let's just have a look at what a car class could contain. I'm expecting that my car class will have a color, a year, and a make. So what type of car is it? And um, we're going to generate this now in a new project. So first of all, pause the video and create a new project. It's going to be a, a console project again. I'll just do it here now because I hope you guys paused the video and did it yourself. But I'll just call it car console because I know I don't know it's a console application. I'll add it here. Again, we're back to scratch. Oh my god, everything I made is gone. Um, so what we want to do is first of all we want to create a new class. So let's just do that. Right clicking like I showed in an earlier video, say add and go down and select class here. You can also select new item and then find the class. It's always up here and I'll call this class a car. I don't even think you want to keep that. You can just do it like this and I'll say add and there we have our new car class. Okay, so first off, notice that I always use capitalized names when I'm creating a class. So it's a car with a capitalized C, right? Now, let's talk about modifiers first. So there are a few different modifiers in a class. That wasn't what I wanted to show you. So here we have what we call an access modifier. Now, let's just start out by making it simple for you guys. You should use public for your modifier until you get something else until I learn you something else. Public means that anybody who creates this object can access the things that are public inside it, right? Um, so this is a way for us to explain to the system that anybody who makes a car should be able to do something inside the car. Use its methods that are public. Use its um, properties that are public. So that's the public modifier. Then we have the class which is a, a keyword explaining C sharp that this is now a class we're building and then we have a name for it car and then we have the curly brackets to explain where the car class is defined the start and the end point. The namespace here is pretty much just it could be any name but it's like we have system here that's another namespace we have system.link that's another namespace so we could do something like car console dot model to explain that this is the model namespace. I'll show you where we use this later. So now that we have the class car, um, let's make the first property. Let's look at my, my small information set here again. What did I actually want to do? Well, I wanted to make a car class with the property. So these think of these as the values that a car needs to explain what car it is. We're going to make unique cars, right? So it's going to have a specific color, specific year, specific make. That's going to be a specific car. And we could even add a license number then it would be very specific right so I want these guys inside my car and I'll make what we call properties to do this so all of these each line here is a property a property called color year make and license so we'll have to figure out what type this should be but first let me show you a small trick here if you write prop and press the tap key twice tap tap it'll create a property for you you just have to tell it it's a string and we want to call this make Right? There we go. Let's make another property. Prop, prop, tap, tap. It's going to be an int. And we're going to call it year. Oh, that wasn't well spelled. Again, they're capitalized the first letter here. We're going to make another property. Prop, prop. We're going to call it license number. That's going to be a string. Um, license number. There we go. And we're going to last make one last property here. Prop. Notice the public keyword again. That means that anybody from the outside can actually access these properties. What was the last thing? Color. That's going to be a string as well. String color. So now we have created our very first class, guys. This is a car class. Oh my god, we're done. We made a class. Whoop, whoop. Good job, everybody. You made your first class. Next lesson, we'll start using it. See you next time.